This next story, what could be an anti-gay vandalism at a church in New Jersey. The church, which proudly sets up flags surrounding their sign for Pride Month, says the sign was suddenly vandalized. The flags were set up to honor a 69-year-old lesbian who died battling COVID. So who would do this? Cops really want to find them. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates outside the church in Morristown for us. Tony. Yes, yeah, Sade and Bill, that funeral was going to be Saturday morning, so late Friday evening they set the flags out. And sometime after that, somebody came by and vandalized the flag, uh, the, the sign rather. They, they smashed it and split it in two. I had seen it before the funeral. I think when people, it was raining on Saturday, so when people came in for the funeral, they were, they were seeing the pride flags. But I think word got around during the funeral. And, you know, at a time that was already hard, to have to see that um, was just yeah. heartbreaking. Church of the Redeemer is incredibly proud of where the congregation stands when it comes to displaying support for pride. The church has been the target of hate before. It's smaller signs. Somebody took a, I don't know, maybe a bat or something to that. And when we replaced that, we bought two of them because we fully expected maybe that would happen again. We just never imagined that this kind of thing would happen. It appears someone kicked it and hit it with a hammer, slamming it with enough force to break it in half. It was purchased back in 2015 for $15,000. I think it's an absolute disgrace. It's the ultimate form of disrespect. That's very sad. Whoever did that, uh, they'd be better off contemplating why they reacted so strongly to it. Community anger and interfaith support. As members of the Jewish community, we, we know what it feels like to be attacked for our values. Rabbi Michael Sass of Congregation B'nai Or. Really a shame that our, our beautiful community is has hate in it. Pastor Sidney Williams of Bethel Church of Morristown. We're in one community. We love our neighbors. And so I stand in solidarity with Church of the Redeemer and the members here in our community. We've seen Morristown police and the Morris County Prosecutor's Office here. They are investigating but would not speak on camera. Hate is real, um, and I think we're, we're seeing that with a rise of it in our world right now. We're going to plan a rally in June, at the beginning of Pride Month, just to encourage people to be supportive, to get over their fears. And of course, this church is operating on a shoestring budget, but it needs to replace that sign. Uh, it's trying to raise money to do that. We've linked their website to our website, ABC7NY. And of course, if anybody has any information about who did this, they are encouraged to call police.